I'm going to show you how to add arrows and circles to your Windows Movie Maker. First, you go down here to the left and you type character map. If you start typing it, it'll pop up and just click on it. And this is what will pop up. I'm going to move it here to the right. And I'm going to just scroll through a few of these. I'm going to click my down arrow here on my keyboard. And as you can see, all of these characters. And what I use a lot is the wingdings and wingdings one and two. So I'm going to click on those and show you the details of those. Let's go to wingdings. And if you go through these, you see all these different characters. So this wingdings two. And I'm going to go to wingdings three. And this is the one I use the most of, Wingding uh, 3. So you just find what you want. We're going to use this arrow right here. You click on it, hit select, and then hit copy. Now you go back, you downsize and go back to your movie maker. And you go to home, go to caption. As you can see, my background is white, so I'm going to just highlight it and change it to red. So you see I got it highlighted. I go up here, change it to red, and I'm gonna resize it to 48. And now what I wanna do is highlight it and hit Control V, or right click and hit Paste. As you see that character right there, so the only thing I have to do is go up here, start typing wingdings, and I'm gonna click on three. Scroll down until I find wingdings three. Once I hit three, you're going to notice that the arrow came up. Then I'm going to move it right here and I'm going to change the time. I'm going to change it to two seconds. So it's going to, when it plays, it's going to stay up there for two seconds, then disappear. So I'm going to move this a little bit forward and I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit play. notice that the arrow popped up. So I'm going to show you how to make the arrow move. What you want to do is take this arrow, just move it back a little bit, and you want to right click or go up here and change your time. I'm going to change it to 0.2 of a second. So one fifth of a second. Then I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to click this forward button about three, four times until it disappears. I'm going to paste it and move it forward. And I'm going to go up here and change that time to 0.2. And I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it again. So every time I copy and paste, I'm moving it forward a little bit. You notice how I move that forward and change the time. Right click, copy. Hit that button about four, three, four times. And I paste it right there. And the reason why I copy and paste every time because I want to paste it in the same location that I took the previous one so I can know I just have to move it forward. So you keep doing this about four or five times or how many times you want. And you can space it however many away you want, how far away you want. You could do two millimeters, five millimeters, six. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to play it and show you how it works. And that's how easy it is. So say for instance, I want to put a cir circle. So I go to character map again. And I know exactly which one I want to use because it's hundreds of them. So I'm going to go down here to this AIG DT. I think that's it. And I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to select. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to go to my movie maker and I'm going to go and hit caption. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to change it to red and I'm going to resize it to 48. And I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to hit control V or right click and hit uh, paste. As you can see that character right there. So what I'm going to have to do is move that to my spot and I'm going to go up here and find that characters AIG right there 
paste it and set it right in place. And I'm going to change the time to two seconds. So now I'm going to go to the beginning and play and show you what it looks like. And that's all to it. I hope this video helped and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.